the full power and the secret of the pen, education and upbringing, spirit and destiny, the greatness of a nation, the cradle of wisdom, name of origin, the peace of world culture is Kazakh. Ushkonir is a small green piece of heaven, generously showered by rains from marvelous clouds. Spread on the skirt of a mountain, the fields call one to roll in the fresh green grass and forget that other seasons but summer exist. Boundless lands with mountain goats grazing on them appear both real and fantastic. Could this be the land of Jiruik, the land of the eternal peace that Asan Kagi was looking for? Қыраттарға шыға 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 осы әдемі көрініске тап болып, алдымнан 2-3 жылқы шықты. 2-3 жылқыны бір I discovered this wonder while climbing the hills. For 2 hours I chased two herds of horses I found there. The wild animals kept running away from me. After a while, one stallion had finally felt safe around me and surrendered. Somehow the drawing of that horse is in high demand these days. Жайылымға кеткен кезеңін мен сүреттеп шықтым. Сол сүретім сұранысқа ел болып жатып. A handsome courser with a shining mane of the valley, this place has raised humble and honest men. Herding sheep alone in the steppe, since the early child is as big of a part of the life here as is a mare and a colt that fade into the background greens of the field. While the precision of the picture of the untamed stud is equivocal, the history of the author of the painting and his horses is quite articulate. Мен жылқымен бірге өстім десем болады. Кішкене бала кезімізден жылқы көрдік. Жаңағы тайдан бастап мінуге тұрстық тай кезінен. Кейіннен бала кезінде жаңағы енді мектептен бітіргенде біздің атамыз жаңағы. In the cold of the autumn when you are outside herding the sheep, nothing is better than your horse. I grew up lying and hugging the horse warmed by its heat so capturing its essence wasn't hard for me. They say that life is a journey. A mere traveler on that journey, you give way to those behind you in the end. Leaving traces of our existence is considered the main point of Baojan's philosophy. This idea he tried to convey in this piece called The Traveler. Бұл енді шарын бір ғасырда емес, мүн жылда емес, миллиондаған жылдарда. Depicted in this work, this chair in canyon is not the result of a hundred or a thousand years, but the result of the traces of activity left during millions of years. In my attempt to capture the levels, I strove to be as sensible as possible. I scaled down the size of the traveler to compare it to the scale of his present and how only past many years he can see it from the bird's eye view. I think this composition captures the idea quite well. Indeed, the canyon hides many secrets. Akin to a sage's wrinkles, these formations have sad and wise stories to them. The 
fear of failure you feel standing on the edge of the chasm is exhilarating. At the same time, nothing can compare it to exultation you feel when you see both the bottom and the edges of the canyon from high above. Having seen how your life measures against the age of this natural phenomenon, you realize that you are only a lonely traveler, and as such, should take the time and unplug from the everyday commotion and look inside to find inner peace with yourself. Bayrıda üstünde kram bürküt gördüm, kram bürküt buluştum. Sol tüstü, o sıfır kay kezinde beynil eğitimde özümde... A long time ago I dreamed of a bold eagle. I flew high above the ground. Back then I didn't realize this dream in a painting. But it has come in unison to my most recent works. I took my students to a plain air session in Cherin, where we had an encounter with a bold eagle, which glided above our heads. This experience and the dream came together in the composition I used in the painting. One of the many Baojan's talents surface in his portrait works. He created four portraits of Baojan Mamushali using different techniques and materials. A glass painting, monumental oil painting, a mosaic, and a sgraffito piece. The work on the mosaic version of the national hero took Baojan eight months to complete. In the process of work on one of the paintings, Baojan was visited by Kanapia Teljanov. So, uh, academic Arams, Kripkilda, Jasabjatan, Baojan Momshun, Kaskavana Karayal, Baojan, Baojan, Toshna Baojan, Smatridi. Having entered the room and seen my first work on the portrait, our reverend academician exclaimed, Look, that is so Baojan. Dead on. Apparently, he had an encounter with Mamushali. Teljanov and Mamushali were sent to Cuba to meet Fidel Castro. Having sat next to Mamushali, who only gazed stringently and clutches to his dagger on the side. Teljanov highly praised the way I captured the expression of the hero. I am very flattered. The artist seems to have captured the hero's essence, capable of intimidating a layman by just looking at him. Valjean has snow on his eyebrows and frost has covered his eyelashes that, however, don't prevent him from seeing hardship and misery of people. His empathetic and kind persona gleams through his subtle mimic and gives hope that the future he wanted for his people has partially arrived. We need art to explain what life is, how soul talks, and how self grows. Baojan is just one evangelist of art and is a good one at that. Teaching students to appreciate art and raise its value in their growth and development that will ultimately result in the international acceptance in his personal and professional goal. I wish him success. <laughs> Sonuçlarını öte köp yengi getirecektir. <gülüyor>